Patreons and YouTubers, my subscribers. I don't have no catchy name for y'all because I don't. <laughs> y'all are all you individuals I don't own. So I, I, you know, I've never been a fan of that. You guys are my winos. My winos. <laughs> So what y'all gonna be my senos? <laughs> Retarded. Hey, whatever she doing is working for her. Hats off, but she ain't the only one. You know, Nikki got the barbs, and I don't even know what the Cardi B's are called, but I know Beyonce got the beehive and all all kind of goofiness. Let's keep that stuff away from us. <laughs> we don't want it. Now let's get to why we're here. Hit the like button, good people. I hope you got the notification. All I can tell you is I did my part. Now, let's get this on. I'm looking at this situation, and I want to know and some answers and some more detail and find out what has got Von Miller so hot. That he would explode in that manner. And he's, if you read Bob Miller's text, in case you guys didn't know, or, you know, mind your own business and didn't know what was happening traveling around the world for this globe, uh, Von Miller. Von Miller is a person who was the most valuable player. Of the Super Bowl, defensive player of the year, impact player, fun loving Von Miller. Well, he got a woman pregnant, and once he got this woman pregnant, it all went downhill from there. His ex fiance, he was engaged to this woman, name is Megan Denise. So, Von Miller decides that Megan Denise was the girl that he was, you know, interested in being, spending the rest of his life with. Then something happened along the way. And those two have been estranged. And the fact that she's pregnant, really, really did him in. She called him Vani. Had his name tattooed across her breast. She's got tattoos on the booty. Another tattooed on the booty girl. They everywhere. Jammed up with tats. From head to toe. Now, Vaughn is one of the very few NFL players that has sponsorship deals individually with like Old Spice and all these other commercials. <laughs> so, while he's doing all these commercials and got Miller Lite deals, he's got all these sponsorships, they're all in jeopardy now. All because of a DM message that he sent privately to his pregnant ex-fiance. Once she said she was pregnant, he was, I'm so disappointed in myself. I'm so disappointed. This is the biggest mistake of my life. I wish, I'm really just praying that you have a miscarriage. That is horrible to say. And you got to be smart enough to know that you just you just filling up her her bank account is just creasing and rolling up as you tweet. Every tweet you make, her bank account is rising and your bank account is lowering. You got to know that. I know you're upset, but you he, the thing is is that he's more upset with himself. 
Because he knew this isn't the type of girl you're supposed to be marrying anyway. Does this look like the woman that's going to take care of children? Or somebody that's going to spend her time on the gram taking booty shots? You went after that because you wanted to hit it. You was attracted to it. You wanted to hit it. You didn't wrap it up. And now you wrapped up. And you mad because she won't go get an abortion. Of course she's going to keep the baby. That's millions of dollars. You're going to pay for her lifestyle while she goes around and sleeps with other guys and get babies by them. And then have all these multiple checks coming in so she could sit around and do nothing but look good and keep herself she would put her you know her big booty on the on the Instagram and get likes and views and she's taking trips on your dime and claiming that this is for the kid. The kid needs thirty thousand dollars school. The kid is a, he's accustomed to a lifestyle and you gotta provide for it. And you gotta provide for this. While you're living off a of salary right now is one of the top in the world. But when you retire, that salary, you go down to a basic pay salary. Now, granted, you you got millions probably in the bank. But how long is that going to have if you don't have it, you know, vested? And then you're losing sponsorships over stuff like this. You know, this is huge. Everything is the courts. Everything is designed for the woman. You know that, Vaughn. I know you said this is the biggest mistake of your life, but right now you, you're continuously making the biggest mistake of your life. Talking about she lame for keeping the baby. What's she supposed to do? She gonna cut, You want her to go get an abortion for you Except, uh, what, a flat pay, one-time payment, don't keep the baby. You know them pro-life people going to chew you up. Most of them pro-life people are up in Denver. And they hear that you're calling for an abortion? How is that going to fly? That's a PR nightmare. No man has a right to even tell a woman to have a abortion. There's only one thing you could tell a woman who tells you she might be pregnant, and you know you're the you were obviously they're telling you because you might be the father. The only thing that you could say in that situation is. So what do you want to do? That's it. So what you want to do? <laughs> when it's a situation, you don't suggest anything about a boss. You say, hey, so what do you want to do? What do you want to do? It's on you. So what do you want to do? That's all you could do in that situation. You know, it's it's sad, but it's true. Vaughn's in a position where 10 years is the max for that position, you know, where he's dominant. And he's a guy who's been injured a lot since he got his contract. You know, and when people start leaking stuff to the internet, it exposes who they are. You are who you go after. You know, he don't want a good girl because he pretty realized like I'm not going I'm not ready to settle down and be the family man and do all this stuff. 
I want the video vixen. I want the girl on the Instagram. And my boy is going to be like, ooh, she got a fatty, dog. He want that, that uh, adulation in the locker room. You go after that and you get what you go after. You know what comes along with it. Expensive purses, trips, shopping. She ain't cooking. <laughs> you can throw that out the window. No cooking. You're going to be spending, 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 spending. You paying for that. You paying to play. She doing what you want her to do as long as you keep paying. You paying for that. She wants your status quo. She wants that money. She wants that bread, that chop. If she met Vine without all that, do you think she gonna give you the time of day, Vine? Like, hey, I'm Vine. She like, I don't care who you is. <laughs> she ain't with you because she's attracted and can't be without. You knew that. If you didn't know, then you really got problems. You need to read the NFL player's handbook. <laughs> like, what's this handbook for? Oh, this is the handbook of how to handle these type of situations. You got to realize the position you in. Now, if you decide to go ahead and sleep around and mess with these type of women, there's a chance. They might get pregnant and you're going to have to deal with that. You made that mistake. And you're going to have to go down this road. There was an NFL player who went and got a vasectomy. Because he's like, man, I want to hit it raw. I don't like to use these prophylactics. So I'm going to go ahead and get the snip. I already had all my kids. So he went and got the snip. Started hitting these strippers. Well, not strippers, but these type of women. Raw. Oh, baby, I like it raw. Next thing you know, one of them end up pregnant. He's like, yeah, uh, uh. Ha <laughs> ha. I got the snap. Can't be me. Turns out DNA test, it was him. He couldn't believe it. He went to the doctor living. Doctor, you said this couldn't happen. Doctor said, we never told you that. We said it's a strong possibility. You about 90-something percent. Well, I guess that life found a way. <laughs> you know, you finna pay for this, baby. <laughs> it's all your fault, Doc. So, you, you pay to play. So, if you in that field, you know what you're dealing with. More more chances of STDs, <laughs> more chances of all these type of risks, <laughs> robbery, assaults, setups, all of these things, you're going down that road. If you follow that NFL player's handbook that veterans give to the younger, newer players in the league, and they say, look, if you want to find a woman in this league, get with your mentors. Your mentors will help you out. Saying, I need a woman that's fine. But understand the business. And understand what time it is. See, this happens in Dallas. A lot, you know, the Cowboys often stayed in trouble. So Jerry had to take care of his boys. So Tony Romo was dating Jessica Simpson, <laughs> which made no sense whatsoever. But she was a pop star rooting for Dallas, and she had Tony Romo, and he was a rock star. Cowboys fans believe she's the reason we didn't keep losing. Tony is playing like crap. Because of her. <laughs> so they blamed her and they wanted her out. And Romo, they was like, look, man, this is doing bad. We got to get her out of here. He was like, she ain't did nothing. Don't matter. She's got to go. So <laughs> once they got her up out of there, uh, 
Well, they broke him up. Jerry Jones. Jerry went and found a woman for Tony Romo. Said, don't worry, I got you. Jerry's like, her name is whatever, whatever, and she's a good woman. She's a good Christian woman. She's going to make sure the house is clean, everything is there, you're situated, and you're good to go. Y'all get two lovebirds, go out on a date and get to know each other a little better, and things are going to work out. She's going to do everything you say. You don't have no problems with her. All right. Enjoy your life and have some kids and get a house and a dog. Neighbor named Fred. I'm out. <laughs> Jerry had him taken care of. Tony was his guy. Tony married this chick. Chick don't give him no problems. She was in some modeling contest, Miss whatever pageant or whatever down the road, and that's all they do. That's, they groom these women for athletes when you're Caucasian. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, Ben Rapersberger, same thing. He was out there taking it and, you know, hey, give it to me. Getting drunk. Well, look, 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 look. A bit. He was like, he's wild indeed. He is wild, dog. <laughs> so they had to take care of that. They were like, he faced jail time. After the last case, they were like, man, we got witnesses. We got all kind of stuff going on here. We got to pay a lot of people in this small town to shut up. Now, how are we going to fix this, man? We got to stick him with some chick and throw him in a church quick. <laughs> so they threw him in a church, got him married to some former mismodeling of something, and slapped her right on Ben's wrist, said, Ben, her name is such and such and such and such. Go ahead and, hey, this is Ben. You love him very much. And y'all going to have some kids and a family, and he's joining the church. Y'all joining this church right here. Here's the pastor, and y'all go have some kids. Get a white picket fence. Say hi to a neighbor named Fred. I'm out. And that's what, <laughs> that's what Vaughn has to do. Get with your mentors. Because down the road, <laughs> you're going to want to be with your family with the white picket fence. Your money's safe in the bank with kids, nice wife, saying hi to a neighbor named Fred. <laughs> you know, that's what you really wanted in. But now you got another problem on your hands. That kid's going to grow up. He's going to be pretty pissed off that you didn't want him. He's going to learn about these text messages. So you're going to have to deal with that situation and smooth that over. But that's many moons down the road. So anyway, I'm getting out of here. Don't forget to subscribe to the page. Check out the Carcino for Life Patreon. It has been explosive already. Today, two days in a row, we've just been on fire. We got the, the Patreon version breakdown of these uh, situations with, with um, Charlemagne. We got the Patreon... <laughs> situation breakdown that happened with Eminem and Snoop both are very entertaining videos I must say myself I watched that repeatedly like I went back to watch my own work so when I go back to watch my own work that means I really enjoyed it <laughs> so don't forget to hit the like button subscribe to the page if you're new here we want to make sure everybody have a blessed day be safe out there Support the page by hitting up the Patreon, or I mean the Cash App, Carcino. You know, it is what it is. I'm out.